Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? Whoa, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. All right, it is frogging time. We're gonna, the John Buster down here, we're gonna let them kind of chill for a minute while we hit this, I guess, it, yeah, this would be technically the dam of this little lake here. Throw the frog around, and uh, before that sun gets up, it's gonna be a frogging and flipping type of day today, which is exciting. I always love fishing that type of uh, that type of way. So let's go over here, jump up on the boat. Oh, I missed him! All right, let's see if I can get back in there. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can catch this fish. You missed it. Dude, you gotta eat the frog, big guy. Ooh. There he is. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Woo! Oh, he came off. He came off with like three feet of line left. That wasn't that big. That was a lot smaller than I thought. That's probably a two and a half pounder, yeah. Oh, that was kind of funny. That dude ate it three times. And then he came off right at the freaking bank. That was really funny. All right, good start to the day. Not a giant, but I'll take him. Get him. He's got it. Get it. There you go. <laughs> you let him eat. <laughs> See, I don't understand that at all. You let that fish eat that frog for five seconds, set the hook hard, and it still came off. He didn't eat it very hard. Dude. What? He just came up with What? There he is. Come on. Stay hooked. Well, that's a good one. Stay hooked. A good one. Stay hooked. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, Woo! Finally. That freaking took long enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right there, a little frog fishing. There we go. First one of the day on the top water. Oh, wow. This boat this boat moves. I about fell. That dude's pushing two and a quarter. Yeah, he's probably two and a half or so. See you later, little guy. Sick. Finally. That was the sixth blow-up we've had before actually connecting with one. Top water frog bite is absolutely fire this morning. This is why you get up early. You guys are always seeing in my vlogs getting up early. This is late. why. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Yes. Yes. That's a good one too. Get him, big guy. Get him. Get him. Yes. Yes, Ryan's got one. Look at that. We ain't even taking the boats out yet, and we are just absolutely wrecking house, dude. That's Another that's one. almost three. That's a good fish. Yeah. Good work, bro. All right, we're good. We're, you just had to get. You just had to wake up a little bit. You know, get the get the timing and the power of the hook set down. Now we're good to go. Eat it. I wasn't even reeling that fast. I was slowly moving. I'll pitch it back in there. See, see if see if the old fishy wants some seconds here. Got it. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Calling the shots, fellas. Oh, man. You just got to reel your frog really fast through the weeds. You got to wait for the fish to blow up on it and miss the frog and then just cast back in there. That is the, te the technique we are using today. See you, little guy. Woohoohoo. Always a good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are catching some fish. All right, boat time. We are we caught a, we caught a few fish. Got the skunk out of the boat, even though we're not in the boat yet. Throw that little dude in the water. Catch some more bass. A few moments later. Okay, folks, we are out on El John boat. It's just like my boat, just a touch, touch smaller. Let's see if we can get a little bit more topwater action. Obviously, the fish are active, but we haven't caught any giants. So that's how we're gonna take the boat out. Kind of do a little bit more searching around maybe fish a little bit deeper figure out where the hogs are hogs are sitting because i'm with hooking hogs so we gotta hook some hogs right that's the rule Dang it. got him yep i said the hook with one hand i wasn't paying any attention on that one that's come here little guy Woo! smoked another one these are those little squeak squeak mcgee's where are the toads at that's a good one Really? Yep. Dude, that thing ran so fast. I know, I don't need a net. I'm good. Okay. There we go. Another 
God, dude, these fish in here are so freaking aggressive. You think he had like a nine pounder just blow up on your frog and he's like freaking 15 inches. Nuts, see guy. Oh, dude, that's a toad. Yeah. That's a toad. There you go. Ryan's hooked up. Is that a big one? I don't know. It's decent, yeah. It blew up like it was a freaking nine pounder. What do we got? Oh, oh yeah. That is, that is a toad, dude. That's three, three and a half. That's the biggest one for sure. He choked it, too. Oh, yeah. Dude, hold that fish out. Woo! Finally. <laughs> finally found some size. First Nebraska brute of the day. <laughs> there he is. That's oh big. god, dude, that's a big one. I about fell over. Oh, Look dude. Uh, no, it's good. That's a big one. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> yes. Yes, Lord. That's three, three and a quarter, maybe. He's pretty skinny. He's got a big head on him. He was deceiving when yeah. I set the hook. I was thinking he's like a freaking five pounder. There we go. First. Decent one for me of the day, right there. First big one, see buddy? Nice! Yes. Woo! That's a weak to Let's catch some more. Bigger one than that, I want, I want a toad, I want like a seven or eight pounder. Seven? seven maybe a 12. Let's break the state record today. <laughs> All right, some of you guys are watching are probably thinking, Flair, you guys are slaying on frogs. You wanna give us any frog tips? Yeah, get your lazy ass out of bed and go to the lake before sunrise. You need to be fishing 30 minutes before sunrise. like. Pull in hand, if you're filming, GoPro running, everything 30 minutes before sunrise is my ideal. That's when I shoot, I shoot to be at the lake 30 minutes before sunrise. Yes, evening frogging can be good, no doubt, but nine times out of 10, I would say I'd catch more and bigger fish in the morning than I do in the evening. I don't know, there's probably a lot of different reasons for that, but I just, for some reason, I have better luck in the morning, so I don't know what it is. So. Fra that, that's, that's just one tip. Uh, another tip is if you want to know what rod and reel to line to use, I'll link it all down below. After I catch this fish, after I catch this fish, come on, buddy. That's a good one, too. It's a three pounder. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, here, I'll get the net. There we go. Net in mid air. There we go. Three pounder, baby. Yeah. You see that mid air net? Mid air net. I like that. Some acrobat acrobatic stuff going on here. Said, I'll leave the rod, the reel, the line in the description. Dude, look at these all beat up. That's Things one. fat. Yeah, wow, fat. that's a fatty. Good fish, see, buddy. All everything you need to know down there. Most important thing about frog fishing is using the right equipment, having heavy braid, tying good knots, Not like me. having heavy Not braid, right. 50 or stronger, a 50 to 65. I like 50 because you can cast farther, but 65 is good too. You want a fairly high speed gear right. ratio. You want a fairly high speed gear ratio reel, but like it's not the end of the world if you have a 6'4. And you want a heavy rod. You want something seven foot or longer and heavy. And this is actually extra heavy. This is a 7'3 extra heavy favorite big sexy. Heavier the better. I know some of you guys may think it's overkill, but you guys can see all this vegetation that we're fishing. It uh it can get kind of crazy if you catch a four or five pounder in the in the thick slop. You need something real powerful to get it out. But those are my tips for you guys. Go uh, buy yourself a frog. I'll link everything down below and go catch some toads. There you go. That was a really bad hook set. Good one? Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, it is a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a really big one. There we go. I think that's the biggest one for me, I think, of the day. He's pretty fat. Uh -huh. That's when you know you're throwing the right frog, folks, when just like every time they're just choking it. Just absolutely choking it. Solid topwater fish. Nope. God dang it. Got him. Yep. Another flip fish. Not really flipping, more casting, but. Dude, he just. Look at him. He's just walking his way in. I'm not even, like, reeling him. Why are these guys are small? Where are the big ones at? You take my worm? You son of a gun. I was throwing a ribbon tail worm, but it got thrown off. Just a squeaker. Where is Big Mama? I thought we'd catch Big Mama for sure in the trees with a big old worm. I'm throwing a 10 inch worm catching 10 inch bass. Oh, come on, get out of that. Get out of that tree. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Are you gonna flip her? Yeah. 
Oh! Woo! Oh! There we go. Worm fish. Yeah, three pounder. Two nine nine. <laughs> three freaking pounder. See, you, buddy. That was on a ten inch ribbon tail green pumpkin worm. If you guys saw the top five summer baits video, this was in there, and that is exactly why. Because catches a lot of fish and catches toads. Oh god, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah, there's a big one. There's a toad. Oh my god. Woo! There's the big one of the day. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Slopped off. Look at me. You got some salad there with you. 3.92, pretty close to four. Like I said, right, that was our guess, was right at four pounds. And there she is, right at about four freaking pounds. On the top water frog, and the sun's up. Hell yeah. First big end of the day, four pounder. That's what, big ends are four pounders in Nebraska, because five pounders are actually master anglers, believe it or not. Sweet, all right, let's catch another one. That was on a frog. We're, uh, we're throwing basically just Texas rig craws and ribbon tail worms and frogs so far. So far, so good. There we go. Worm fish. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Worming. Worming. I don't need the net. I'll be all right. Sure? Yeah. That's a good one. Woo! Big old Sheila right there. That's probably about three pounder. There's one. You got one? Yep. That's a good one, too. Is it? Yep. Get out of the Get tree. Out of there. Get out of the trees. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Woo! That is a good one. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Soaked my camera. Not a three. Not gonna be that generous. That's a good fish, though. See, buddy. Woo! Okie dokie. Well, folks. That's a wrap. Well, folks, that is all we have for today's episode. Put the John Boats back up. I'm gonna head home because I gotta get some work done. Gotta pack for my big trip. And I'm gonna go fishing tonight, so I'm gonna try to get another video, guys. Knocked out it's something different, completely different than this. So we're gonna go on a lake and deep crank and do some deep stuff. So hopefully we're gonna catch some big ones. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't, go check out Hook and Hogs TV. It'll be linked down below. Caught a lot of fish today, some solid sized ones. Love catching some Nebraska brutes in some fire ponds. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.